Good afternoon. I'm Pri, and we're prima donna. Meet Kendall. Kendall's 13 years old. She adores Taylor Swift. She sends around 30 snaps a day. And Kendall loves art. In fact, she loves nail art. Nail art's a way that Kendall can feel beautiful, express herself, and change her style daily. But the current options for Kendall to get a customized instant manicure are inconvenient, expensive, and going to a nail salon is just limited. We search for a better solution for Kendall and her girlfriends. We couldn't find it. I am Kendall. So we invented it. We invented the Nailbot. The Nailbot prints custom instant nail art directly on your fingernail using your smartphone. I'm joined today with my co-founder, Casey Schultz. Casey's built quadcopters, fluid dispensing robots, and spacecraft. She's worked at NASA, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Together, we invented and engineered the Nailbot. Let's go to the live handheld demo. First, we recommend prepping your nails with a base coat, uh, a white pre or white polish that can really make the art, the image, pop on your fingernail. Next, use a pre-print coat. That's really to ensure the clarity of the image. Now, Casey's going to insert her finger into the robot. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to see pictures from our camera roll. Thanks for the live demo. Let's choose a diamond ring. Every girl loves a little bit of bling. It's a girl's best friend. And we're going to print instantly. That image, that nail art, will instantly appear within five seconds. We are proud to be utilizing Hewlett Packard thermal inkjet technology in our early nail bot solutions. And we're working with authorized inkjet fillers to make sure that the ink formulations are suitable for cosmetic use when the nail bot ships. Casey's going to take out her finger. And there is that bling. We have a little bit more time. So let's, in the spirit of TechCrunch, and we're proud to be a battlefield company, let's print an image of the TechCrunch logo from our licensed art gallery. So again, if we can go back to the app and check out different logos, she's going to insert her finger into the cradle and press print. Again, nail art will instantly appear. This art can be removed with traditional nail polish remover, which will come in the Nailbot kit. The resolution of these images is between 300 and 1,200 DPI, depending upon the Nailbot settings. There you go. There's a the TechCrunch logo. Mm -hmm. Jason, you need one. <laughs> Pretty awesome. We recommend sealing those images with a clear top coat so, the nail, so that those images can last a few days. Can we please switch back to the PowerPoint? So our working prototype that you, hear, you see here on stage is being refined to a more sleek and chic form factor that will retail for $199. That includes the hardware, the polishes, and the cartridge that will service over 5,000 manicures. But we really make money not just on the hardware, but really on our digital art and content, whether you want Elsa, the Warriors, or 49ers, or even Starry Night on Your Nail, we're creating an art mobile marketplace for applications well beyond fingernail painting. But we're starting with a tween and teen demographic that will love us the most. And those are our early prima donnas. They're 21 million girls strong. They're 21 million girls strong, 92% of which decorate their nails regularly, 14% of which decorate their nails daily. And these girls have asked us to give us them a solution right away. We know that hardware takes some time to ship, so we've developed an augmented reality app that superimposes images of their besties, pictures from their camera roll, our emojis, directly onto their fingernail using our back-facing camera on your smartphone so they can share with their networks and internally within the prima donna network. All of this is enabled by our community. So my background, I have an MBA from the University of Chicago. I worked in early stage connected hardware since 2009. But I started my career out working in politics building grassroots campaigns from ground up. And so we're deploying a very similar get out the nail bot strategy as we go to market. Today, you see a nail bot that is meant for a tween and teen segment. But over the past two and a half years, we have invented and engineered nail bots for every woman in the house with more advanced nail art and drawing features, and eventually a nail bot that will automate the polish change using a one-time use applicator. 
Because the nail services and the nail care industry is $15 billion globally. And we are well positioned to be a category leader in that space. So join us on our journey. Go to thenailbot.com, sign up, and learn more about our crowdfunding updates. We've got 42 seconds left, and so we're going to go back to the demo. And let's print a picture of Casey's dog, Callie, who's fantastic. She's going to pull it from her camera roll, and we'll print instantly. So there you get three fingers printed instantly in six minutes, which will be pretty awesome. Again, she's going to choose from her camera roll, insert her finger into the cradle, and press print. <laughs> I like that rock in her, <laughs> on her finger too. <laughs> there we go, there's Callie. Very Pretty cute, cute mutt. Cute. <laughs> All right, give it up. Thanks, we're happy to take questions. Very cool demo. Judges. I loves Taylor Swift, sends 30 snaps a day. I might be your Kendall. <laughs> so, um, the uh, cartridges uh, for over 5,000 uh, applications. Mm -hmm. Is it just for replenishment? Is it just one standard cartridge, or do you need to buy different cartridges depending upon so, uh, colors, other things? Great question. It's a color cartridge, so it will print the full spectrum. Got it. And for the uh, design store, mm -hmm. are you going to sort of run that like an app store where you people are going to design their own art and they can resell it, or are you going to start by either creating or licensing packages? Absolutely. So you know, within our app, we even have a design feature. We hear from a lot of girls that they want to digitally design their own art, and they don't even know how to do it. And so we're actually creating programs for them to do so. We do have a licensed art gallery section, whether it's Disney princesses, sports logos, you name it. So there's opportunities for artists on our marketplace. There's opportunities for companies to be licensing their art, um, and eventually for girls to design, to share, to sell, to buy. But we're starting with things that are a little bit simpler. Emojis. Girls have told us they want food, <laughs> they want smiley faces, they want pictures of their best friends, and we've listened to our customers and tried to build slowly but through our power base. Yeah. You're doing so many smart things. This is really exciting. How do you defend this against others who start to copy the hardware? Absolutely. So we started with something that we know well, which is hardware and community building. Mm -hmm. um, those are really both of our backgrounds. And so we actually spent four months in Shenzhen, China, working on our hardware earlier this year through the Hacks Hardware Accelerator program, designing for manufacturing our prototypes. Really, our mobile phone is our key differentiating feature of this device, and building our community with tweens and teens. It's an area that a lot of other companies don't really focus on, but we're well positioned to do so. Mm -hmm. We also have utility filings on the device and on the uh, interchange between back from 2013. So I have a more of a technical hardware question. So. When you choose the emoticon or whatever it is you want to print, does it look at the size of the nail? I mean, you've got really tiny nails for little girls and short nails, and like, how do you, how do you solve for that? Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely a problem to pay attention to. Um, and so what we're doing on this one, uh, for this first prototype, it's a fixed size. So we have a large and a small. So I use the large one on my nails. But when we print on um, the girls and you know, we do some testing, then we use the small one. But eventually, and with some of our other prototypes, we have virtual or uh, um, machine vision so that we can see where the nail is, so not only you know, my left or right, and then also what size it is. And then we'll auto size the art accordingly. OK, so you don't have that yet, but that's So we have building. it in some other prototypes, okay. but not this one. Okay. So we have a whole nail bot family. In fact, one of our prototypes is a, more of a touchscreen mobile printing application where we use the front-facing camera, take a picture of your fingernail, and you swipe to print. This is really fun. Uh, tell us about competition. If I want to get the same uh, thing, what, what are my options as of now, and how much do I pay? I'm sorry, I was having trouble hearing. What, 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 if, what is the competition as of as of today? Uh, if I want to get uh, something sure. the closest equivalent to this, where do I get it, and how much do I pay? Absolutely. So if you're looking at the current nail options, it's really going to a salon, right? You go to a salon, you can get your traditional manicure, and then you know every $2 per nail, perhaps, for additional art features. You also can't get photos directly on your nail, or emojis necessarily directly on your nail. And so we offer something that's far more customized than any nail salon. That said, when you can get nail wraps, they tend to be a little bit cheaper. It can range all the way from $2 up to $20. Um, so we are really an instant customized service 
um, that really there's no competition that can match that kind of level of customization on demand. So in terms of distribution and, and obviously getting the word out about this nail art, which is very cool, um, are you, are you going to go after salons? Because I mean, the price point for you know, a 15 year old, 14 year old girl is quite high, right? To so we're not going after salons. Um, you know, there have been nail printers in the past. It's a novel invention, but in terms of the overall concept, we w are well aware that other printers have tried to go into the nail salon industry. The smartphone as the controller is such a differentiator. You know, girls, <laughs> That we've, talking to, that we've spoken to as young as nine have access to a mobile phone or a tablet. Um, and they want to use our device. And so we do believe we can get the price point down by half within three years. When we go to market initially, it has to be at the 199 price point. Yeah. Can you tell us more about your team? Absolutely. So Casey and I are the co-founders, but we do have a strong advisory board and investor board. So Helen Greiner, who spoke yesterday, has been a key advisor and investor for us, as does Hacks and SOS Ventures. We have a, a mobile app developer specializing in augmented reality that's been helping us for some time as well, along with an industrial designer. I thought the, the, brown, the brand store sounds really promising. Have you already started talking with them about licensing those images? Like, were the ones you showed already Kind of available so, or? We are still working on our licensing strategy, and this is a great opportunity for Disney to get on board, uh, along with some other companies. In terms of the partnership slide that you saw, we are working directly with Girl Scouts, New Mexico Trails, create making pro maker programs for girls to learn how to build the nail bot, get nail bot art directly um, onto the product. Very cool. Any last questions? All right, well, I think, I think we're good on that front. Prima Donna, very cool demo. I like that a lot. <laughs>